Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to do this video. I've literally had to put it off for a couple days because I've been so busy, but right now I am so ready. I did my hair, I already prepped my face. Well, not really prepped, I still have to put my lotion on, but I washed my face. I'm very ready to hop in to this gigantic bag of makeup. Now it just looks like one bag, okay? But if you follow our main channel, my boyfriend threw out all of my makeup Literally, all of my makeup left me with absolutely nothing, then took me to Ulta and Sephora and bought all new makeup, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. Then he surprised me with all my old makeup back. So pretty much, he just did a cute little gesture but wanted to play a little joke on me at first, but long story short, your girl has a ton of new makeup. So I'm gonna be picking out out of all the new products that I got, one full face of makeup, and then I'm gonna try it out. Not all these products are brand new in the sense like they just came out type of thing, but all of them are new to me. All of these are products that I've never tried before with the exception of maybe like one of them. Them. But make sure you guys comment down below your favorite makeup products because I want to try maybe like a full face of like your guys' favorite makeup if you like videos like this. But yeah, I'm super excited to do my makeup today. I'm like rushing through this interview. I'm like, girl, like I want to get my makeup done right now. Okay, girls, hydrated. Actually, I feel very dehydrated, but we're just going to be having to take sips of water throughout. So I'm pretty much just going to be prepping my face with the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream. I love this stuff and I just put it all over my face. All right, so now that I'm laying everything out, some things I did forget to get from the store, which good thing that Cameron actually gave me my old makeup back because I would have been blushless, highlighterless, setting sprayless, and lip linerless. Yeah, your girl would have been a lot less. But luckily, this blush that I did have here um, that I forgot to get from the store, I've never actually used this blush, and I'll try to like rummage through my drawers to see if I have a highlighter I've never used. We're gonna be starting out with the Hourglass Veil Primer. It's a mineral primer, oil-free sunscreen, broad spectrum SPF. You already know that your girl can't talk about these like talking scenes, so. I saw this primer on TikTok and I heard a lot of great things about it, so I'm gonna try it out. I already put on my primer, or not my primer, my um, moisturizer like you guys saw. There we go. It's everywhere. Ooh, it's really lightweight and like very like, Silky. This kind of feels like it's gonna be weird, but if you've tried this primer, I'm sure you like know what I'm talking about. It feels very soft, but it kind of feels like a clean, greasy. Like, you know, like when you feel like oil, like bio oil, it feels like greasy. This doesn't feel necessarily greasy. It just feels very like, I don't know. The texture of it is really nice. I can see how this could be a really good primer for especially like a full coverage foundation. Okay, so the next product that I have is the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil. I've used this on other people before, like my friends when I do their makeup and stuff like that, I've used this on them like because they have it, but I don't think I've ever tried it on myself. I might have maybe like a really, really long time ago, but not enough where like I remember if I like this product or not. And I did get the color Warm Light Brown. I filled in my brows and I literally love the color and I love how like thin the um, the wand is. Like it's very, very precise, like hence the name precisely my brow. This is definitely gonna be a repurchase of mine because I just really like how like natural they look and the color is literally perfect, which I'm surprised because I was not really trying to get like a perfect, perfect color. I also got the All Hyped Brow Freeze by Anastasia Beverly Hills and I wanted to give it a full shot. So I also bought the applicator, even though it's pretty much just like a spoolie. So pretty much this product is kind of like a wax for your eyebrows. I usually use this, it is colored. Um, and it's really good. It keeps the brows in place. I'm not someone that likes like super bushy eyebrows. I don't know. That look is like really nice on some people, but for me, not so much. It's literally just a gel. Like it looks empty. I'm guessing this side is kind of like a spatula. Maybe we'll grab some. Oh, it's way thinner than I thought. Put some in my brow and then we'll just brush her out. Okay. This product is insanely good. Okay. You need like the tiniest amount that's amazing because something like brows i feel like you always like feel like you're going to be using so much like especially with a pencil and stuff like that you literally put the tiniest you guys probably can't even see it the tiniest amount this is how i use it i don't know if it's the correct way or not but i kind of just like put it all over my brow and then brushed it out and my brow is not going anywhere that product is a 10 out of 10. 
Alright, so next up we are going to be trying the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I do usually use the Sheer Glow by NARS and I love it. It is literally my ride or die foundation. But I figured I would try a different one. This one's a little bit... Sorry, Coco just decided to roll around and hit her head on the wall. She's fine though. So we're going to be trying this foundation. I'm really excited about it. I've heard so many great things about it. And it's just a little bit more full coverage than I think the Sheer Glow is. So... We're gonna try it out. One thing that I love trying out is new foundations. I feel like I can never have enough foundation because it's just like gives different vibes, like gives different vibes in photos. So you guys already know me. I like to apply my foundation on a little paddle brush to spread it all over the skin. And then I spread it with my, or blend it in with my beauty sponge. And I did get shade Mont Blanc, which hopefully is the same color I usually get. Yeah, okay. So I usually get Mont Blanc as well. And I'm just gonna paint this on my face. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that coverage? Bruh. I love like makeup that's literally gonna give me that snatched Instagram look. Like, you know what I mean? Like, especially when I'm taking IG photos or like filming content and stuff, I like my stuff to look airbrushed, super like that blurred effect, very just like perfect looking. And I definitely think that this is gonna give that to me. Not me sitting here like this and I'm like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. It's not even blended in yet, Trisha, like relax. This foundation is flawless. Like I have no complaints. Usually with a foundation, I'll be like, okay, sometimes it's separating, especially if I've never tried it with a primer before. But that combination, this, with the hourglass, it's just like magical on my skin. Like my skin looks so smooth, so blurred. I actually have some events coming up and I feel like this would be a perfect combination. Hopefully like it passes like a wearability test. Like I'll wear it all day today and kind of see how it looks throughout the day. But based off of my experience with other Narzis foundations, they always like slay really good. Okay, I'm so excited to finish the rest of my makeup. All right, so the next product that I'm gonna be using is this Nars concealer. Now I do already have this. So this was kind of just like a new one. Cause like I said, my boyfriend told me that he threw out all my makeup. So I got everything over again. So I'm just gonna use the one that I have, but this way I'm not opening up a new one, but this concealer is so nice. It's very lightweight, but yet, full coverage so i love that that it's not like too custardy sometimes i find like the tart shape tape gets a little too like thick and it also gets like very gunky like i don't know around the nozzle maybe it's just mine let me know if yours gets that way as well of course that concealer literally blended in seamlessly like Everything just looks so amazing. I don't even know if you guys can actually see it. Everything looks so nice, so airbrushed. So far, all the products that I got, I'm very, very, very happy about. I have some events coming up and I've been debating if I wanna get a makeup artist or not, but I think that this could make me look like I have a makeup artist. I'm not gonna lie. All right, so another thing that I did forget to get is cream contour. Now I'm debating if I wanna use it or if I should just, no, we're not gonna use it, okay. Vanish Blush Stick by Hourglass. I love Hourglass like foundations and all that. So I'm really excited to try. Oh wait, you know what? I know what to try. Okay, so we're actually going to be trying this Hourglass Cream Contour. I believe this is just one of their foundation sticks. Oh, look how beautiful that looks. So since I decided to cream contour, um, I'm just gonna take my concealer and just go right under that to kind of make it like a little bit cleaner of a line. Okay, so now we're gonna try the cream blush. I don't know if I want to apply this directly on my cheeks. This is a shade Wonder and it's really, really pretty. It's kind of like a, like a peachy pink. We have the cream contour done, which I already know, I love that. The blush is really, really pretty. Honestly, it's very subtle. Now I feel like I could add more, but I'm scared that I'm gonna go like too blush crazy when it comes to like the cream blush. Cause I do like to put like, you know, like powder blush on top after I set everything. So it is really pretty, it is faint. Um, but like I said, you can probably just add more and it would be fine. But everything else is holding up really well. The foundation, dare I say, it might be my new ride or die. Now the NARS Sheer Glow has been my baby for definitely over a year, possibly more than a year. And it is such a great foundation. I still love it, but she might go into hiding 
and her new upgraded sister might be the front of my drawer now. I really, really love this foundation. All right, so now I'm going to be trying the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. Now this is something else that I've like heard like great things about, that it's literally amazing. And by the way, I did get the shade Butter. This is supposed to be like great finishing powder. Typically, I set my makeup with um, the Charlotte Tilt. What is this? Okay, I'm not sure what this is. We're gonna have to figure that out. So usually what I use is the Laura Mercier and then also possibly the Huda Beauty powder and the Charlotte Tilbury press foundation. So I got this one, we're gonna try it out and I think I'm just gonna use either my sponge or, oh, I think this is just a replacement of maybe this. It's closer, shake her up. The texture of it is super, super soft and just dab it all over. Now mainly when I set my makeup like this, I'm not necessarily doing it for coverage. I'm not necessarily doing it for really anything besides setting it so that this way when I put um, powders on top that it doesn't stick weirdly on cream. That's just like something I learned as I was learning how to do makeup because I used to just not set my makeup because I didn't want to be fully matte, even though I love that look now. But back then I wanted to be super glowy and I would put powders right on top of the cream before setting it. It was not a pretty situation. I put the powder on and honestly, I really love the way it makes my skin like more feel than anything else. Cause like I said, really all it does is just matte it, but it makes me feel like not dry. Like I know sometimes when you put too much powder on, especially now that we're going to the summer months and I do love to look like super matte, at least like today, maybe tomorrow I'll want like a glowier look. But when I do want like matte looks and it's getting hotter out, you do need to put a little bit more powder on. And I feel like if you put more powder on of this, it's not gonna feel super drying like other powders will. So it just makes your skin look super, super like matted, nice and set really pretty. So now I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I'm just going to be focusing it on right here, the center of my face. I did get a little bit of a lighter color because I saw this girl on TikTok. She like took this and put it right here and it just made her skin look like... So I'm going to take my beauty sponge again and kind of just dab it here. See what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, look how pretty this looks. I do not look cakey. I'm so happy. I'm so happy that Cameron pretended to throw out my makeup and took me on a shopping spree because we found some good ones. Okay, sorry. I kind of just like moved on without telling you guys what I'm doing. So I decided to try the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. Now this has been out for some years and I just haven't been able to get my hands on it. Every time I've gone to Sephora, they didn't have it. And then the one time Cameron said that he was gonna buy me whatever I wanted, they had it. So it worked out in my favor, but Wow, this packaging is absolutely stunning. It's literally like raised up. I didn't even know it was like this. I just like heard the hype about this and wanted to get it. It just has brightening shades. It has contour shades. So I'm gonna grab my brush and we're gonna kind of get into contouring. Now I'm super fair and because I kind of have like a lot of powders on and I already used some cream contour, I think I'm gonna go into the lightest contour shade which would be this bottom one right here. I'm kind of just... Oh wow, that is super pigmented. That being the lightest shade and it's that pigmented. Wow, this is so pretty. And I love contours that are a little bit more cool toned. I don't know, when I'm not self tanned, I love the way that looks on my natural skin tone. A lot of people like pull their foundation onto their neck, which is good too. But what I like to do is I like to take my contour color and kind of pull that down on my neck. I don't know if that's like good to do or if like a lot of other people do that but that's just what I like to do instead of pulling like foundation and then have to set the foundation on my neck like I just put a little contour on my neck so that I don't look like completely insane I love this palette I really wish that I got it sooner but today's gonna be one of my best makeup days ever I'm feeling it I feel it I feel it although we use the powder foundation here maybe we'll like brighten it up a little bit I don't know I just kind of want to try out some other things so I think I'm gonna take the lightest one on like I have like these velvet beauty sponges and it's dry so I'm gonna take that put it right on the middle here the inner corner one thing i love about palettes like this is that like sometimes like if i self tan i don't like always having to like find new products every time like 
I go a skin shade darker, like especially with the summer coming up and stuff like that. So I appreciate palettes like that, that can, you know, flatter a lot of skin tones. So love that. This is what I was telling you guys about the blush that I forgot to get a blush, but I've never used this one. This is the Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush and I've never used it before. So we'll just try it out. Oh, this is pretty. I love peachy blushes, especially this time of year. They're super, super flattering. We're almost done here, guys. Right, so the palette that I'm deciding to use is the Morphe 35U palette. This is their Gilded Desert. It's such a pretty palette. I love Morphe so much. I love how affordable and how like amazing their products are. So these are all the colors. Now, honestly, I didn't even pick this one out. My boyfriend picked this one out. He's like, oh babe, these colors are pretty. So I was like, okay. So I got it and I'm like, dang, like he really picked out a good one. So I'm just gonna go in with the color getting warmer and just put that in my crease one thing about morphe like the 35 palettes is that i wish they kind of had a mirror but i mean you are spending like 15 dollars 20 dollars on a palette so you kind of can't be mad at it but i do wish they had a mirror in their 35 palettes maybe some of them do and maybe this one just doesn't this color as per usual from Morphe, super pigmented, super nice. And I think the look that I'm going for today is gonna be kind of like a muted, actually, I'm not even gonna say what I'm going for because I'm just gonna try colors that I think look nice, which is like all of them, but I'm not gonna use all of them. We'll kind of just see where this eye makeup look takes us. I'm not really someone that does super crazy eye makeup looks. Who knows, we might be getting a little crazy today. So next, I think I'm gonna go into Feel the Heat. It's like 95 degrees where I'm at today, so and I'll put this in my crease as well, but kind of focusing more on the outer corner. It is coming together. I feel like I'm like getting ready, like super glammed up for no reason right now. And then we're gonna go in with the shade, kind of going for the more like cooler browns, Kalahari. It's gonna take a tiny, tiny bit, put it right on the outside. So pretty. Love it. All right, we're gonna go dawn to dusk. I'm going to grab this brush that I got, which is literally so cool. It's by Morphe. And it's a silicone glitter packing brush, which is so cool because I'm always the type of person that like takes my finger and like has to do that whole situation. And it's like kind of annoying because I have really long eyelashes. I'm gonna go in with the shade Sunday Sunrise. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go right in with it. Oh! This brush is godsend. This palette is like perfect for prom. I give this palette a 10 out of 10. It is so beautiful. The feeling when you just get your lashes done and they look like... I found this no budge retractable eyeliner in the shade coffee and it's waterproof. So I think I want to try this out in like my waterline or like right underneath and then I'll kind of like buff it out. Okay, whoa. She thick. I'm gonna try the waterline and see what it's looking like. Oh my gosh, why does it like tickle? I haven't done waterline eyeliner in so long. It tickles. Let's try the lower lash line instead. Yeah, that looks really pretty. So this eyeliner is really good. I actually really like it. I'm gonna take my shader brush and go in with the Kalahari color again from the eyeshadow palette and go super, super close to where I put that eyeliner. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this really tiny brush and then also go back in that palette and use the color Perfect Mirage. I don't know why. The second that I sat down to film, these dogs decide to bark. Like, they were fine before I started filming, but because mommy wants to film now, Coco, because mommy wants to film now, it's like, no one cares about anything. It's fine. Anyways, we're gonna take that color. Okay. Hey. All right, so we're gonna take Perfect Mirage once again and put it in the inner corners. Give a little shine in the inside. So I put it on my inner corners and now I'm going to put it underneath my brow bone and also on the top of my nose and on top of my lip and all over my face <laughs> actually now that i say that i might take my finger and kind of just put it here so that this way it kind of ties everything together a little bit this is probably like the best base i've ever had i'm not gonna lie like i'm not even gassing it at all if you get one thing from this video which everything's gonna be linked down below so it's gonna be hard because i get suckered into it too on these types of videos i would say the foundation the foundation is so good i can imagine that with really like any powder it can be good it also might just be so 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 good because of everything i like tied with it you know now like i said i didn't get setting spray but if i did i probably would have gotten this one anyway Hey, we're almost done. Now, one other thing I did forget to get is a lip liner. So I'm just gonna use my tried and true Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. 
and just like lightly line my lips. So funny story about the lip product I ended up getting. So Cameron was going around in Sephora and Ulta asking the workers, what is a lip product that will not transfer when I kiss my girlfriend? The worker told him that the YSL matte stain is good. I ended up getting the shade 23, which I'm a fiend for like light pink, but nude lips. Like I just love my lips, but just like a little pizzazz. Like, you know what I mean? So this applicator is insane. I've never seen something like this. It's like crooked, but flat at the same time. Now, mind you, this is a lip stain. This is not a matte lip. This is not a lipstick. It's just a lip stain, which I don't think I've used in the past before. Um, so we're gonna try it out. I don't know why it smells like it would taste good. <laughs> don't think I'm weird. Let's see if this dries down. Okay, so this lip color is a little bit darker than I wanted, but it is stunning. Like the formula is super lightweight. It doesn't feel like, you know how like matte lips sometimes like make your lips feel like like that type of thing, like super dry. I am gonna wait a couple minutes though and I'm gonna see if it actually is like kiss proof. I do wanna give an overall review. So everything is actually like if not better than what I thought it would be. Obviously I got all this stuff because I heard great reviews about it and um, I wanted to try them out, but everything really exceeded my expectations. Everything was worth the hype that I tried out. I don't think there was one thing that I'm like, eh, like, you know, other things could have substituted. Actually, Hourglass Blush. Although it is beautiful, I definitely think that you can get the same look with like these or I don't know, clean, cream brush. Cl Oh my gosh, cream blush. I literally have speaking problems in every freaking video. Cream blush is something that I feel like is very versatile. Like a lot of brands have really good ones of that foundation. I feel like for me personally, it's hard for me to find like a foundation that I absolutely love. That foundation is just really, it's really, really good. I'm gonna be linking everything down below. Okay, first of all, I keep looking at myself in the mirror and the viewfinder. These lips are a little bit redder than I usually go for, but I don't hate it. I don't know. Let's let's see if it passes the kiss test. Mm. Let's see on a white towel. Okay, it's barely there. So she was right. Okay. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these new products with me. And hopefully you found something that you guys would like, especially with prom season, wedding season, graduation season, all coming up. I definitely want to give you guys some good product recommendations just in case you're doing your makeup at home. Or, you know, if you want some new suggestions for new products and whatnot, I hope that you found something, at least one good item from this video. I promise you. Anything you get that I mentioned, you will not be disappointed with. Like 100%, I gave you guys my honest, raw opinion and they are all amazing. So anything you get, you will not go wrong. So make sure you guys comment down below if you do decide to pick up anything and what your thoughts are on it. But anyways, I think I'm gonna go take some photos because I really love the way my makeup came out. This base is just like everything. It's definitely event ready. So make sure you guys give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, 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 oh,